Good day, YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Uh, this is Eben Adripunda from Walking Triumphantly. I'm going to show you a video now of a presentation I did at Lethan Foundation talking about our organization and how we started it. So please um, just enjoy it. If you do like the video, uh, please like it, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. for um, an opportunity to share my story and also to share uh, the work we're doing in, uh, in such an odd hour, you know, 7 o'clock <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> anyway, so my name is Eben Adripunda. Um, why I'm involved in, why I got involved with uh, this, on, it was on the, on the 24th, 24th, 25th of December uh, 2007, when I was involved in a car accident. Um, broke my neck, fractured my spine, and uh, my whole life changed. Uh, woke up in the hospital, the doctors came to me, told me, uh, you will never walk again, probably you'll never be the same person. Uh, up to then, I think uh, uh, the injury had, I think, was so severe, I could, I could only move my shoulders. So, uh, the questions, the depression, the, you know, I, 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 up to then I wondered why haven't we heard about this as much as we heard about AIDS? Because this is worse than the AIDS, you know, AIDS takes, <coughs> takes your life. But this thing, you, you get to live in your body, but you can't control it. So, um, uh, so, so I was introduced to this new world. Um, of, of, uh, the questions of, you know, as a young man, can, can I... Can I uh, live life again? Can I, am I able to socially um, engage uh, with people, with, 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 you know, with, with other people? Am I, am I able to marry? Will any woman be interested in me? Those were the, those, the questions that were in my mind. Not even, those were small questions, but they were personal. Questions of accessibility to wheelchairs, accessibility to the help I'm going to need the aid I'm going to need because of this new uh, inability. So these, 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 these questions, these things are what I was introduced to. So throughout the years, uh, after um, that, I was involved in, uh, I got into rehab, physiotherapy, occupational therapies, all kinds of therapy. Uh, <coughs> with Central Hospital, they used to have what, uh, because of the need for therapy that is so much, uh, they, they, would, they would do a bulk therapy. Where they would have a seminar and call all their patients to come and then they do like a weekend of just advice and teaching, teaching about bed sores, exercising, you know, just that whole, like a, um, a, 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 a way to just cover them and, and give them support so they can go and just try and, and live uh, a better lives. So through that, we would raise issues in this. We would, would complain about things that we were going through, uh, like in a, uh, not having access to basic things like wheelchairs and cushions and, and splints, you know, for those people who couldn't use their, their hands, um, and you know, stuff like that, uh, uh, catheters. Uh, diapers, you know, these are the issues, these are the things that we were, we, we were complaining about in these meetings. But every year we would raise issues, these issues, but no one would take, take them up because then we would go back to our own work and, and forget about them. Every year we would raise them since 2012 to 2015. And together a few of us 
said, let's form a, a, a help group. We start with uh, the issues we can tackle and see where we'll go. So in 2016, we started the organization, Namibia Association of Wheelchair Users. Uh, but not only just because, well, that was the initial beginning, but other people, also people with crutches, uh, our family members joined up. So, but, um, so, so then that, that's how we started the organization. Some good stories. Um, every time you go to the to central hospital to go in and, and, and get my, you know, monthly, sharing your, your story, uh, just like I'm sharing with you now. Um, the last time I remember I went with my, with my daughter and, and my wife, them seeing that, oh, so you got married, and oh, you have, so the, bring him back hope into this, into the, this, into these guys, um, um, and also uh, just uh, advocating for the rights. You know, when I'm coming here, uh, this place is very inaccessible in terms of wheelchair, a person with a wheelchair may not be able to enter here, and not only, it's not only this building, many public buildings are like this. So one of the mission and missions of our organizations is to advocate for their rights. What do we need? Uh, well, we have an office at the Kuriangaba. Office chairs, tables, if you have any, that would be very useful. Otherwise, share the story. I have a blog, a blog um, it's called um, Walking Triumphantly. Watch it, share the video. That's it. Thank you so much for that. Um, Five yeah, minutes yeah. is short. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we're going to do to these people? We'll tell them, um, leave and go to work, and then they will stay behind and ask more questions. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Thank you very much for five minutes, for, for trying to put that into five minutes, but it's a life story and um, uh, you also, you've got a passion in your heart that, that you've got, you want to do so much more, but you've got to balance life and work and getting a mentor there to help you as well. How do we do that? How do we take the road forward? Because it's also difficult, Monica, you know with the organizations, keep it going, you keep going, you go through a dump and, and, and people get busy and they don't get involved in you, so it's a big, 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 big